Now let's get into our content for today's session, Jamboard Activators. The big concept we are exploring for today is Jamboard Activators. The what? Let's give students a different way to engage with content before instruction. So it builds an engaging digital board for students to activate prior knowledge. How are we gonna do it? We're gonna use Google Slides and Jamboard, and I will also show you how to get it to Canva. This is one that has been created for number talks. So essentially, the teacher could put a number and then the students could go in and add in different sticky notes of how they built the number. The first tool we will cover is Google Slides. The next several slides showcase how to set up your sizing, color, and formatting in order to create a custom image and save it as a PNG to be a background on your Jamboard. So go to slides.new or open up your desired slide and then customize the slide the size of your slide to match that of a Jamboard. Here's how. To change the slide size to match a Jamboard, click on File, Page Setup, Custom, and then we're gonna select that. So to do that, we're going to go to Google Slides. I'm going to click File, Page Setup, Custom, and I'm going to use Pixels. And the size I'm going to go is 1422 by 800. Apply. Once you have your slide size set, you can customize the slide for whatever type of Jamboard you're trying to create as it relates to your content. Next, we're going to change the color. So you're gonna click on background and choose a color background. To do that, I'm gonna click background, change the color, or I can make, make it an image. I'm gonna choose an image. You can do a Google image search, make it trees. We want, this is my background, I'm gonna insert that instead of a color. And now I have that as my background. Now to change the layout, you are gonna you can click on the layout button on the toolbar, choose from one of the slide layouts from the drop-down list, or you may choose to not have any. You're also able to add clip art, photos, bitmojis, and more onto this um, template. So to do that, I'm going to insert image, insert image, and I'm gonna search the web this time, but you can also upload any image from your computer or Google Drive. Sunshine, and I want to add this, insert, and that is, it's that simple to add a Google image. You can also use several resources to find images. I'm going to show you how to use um, Flat Icon, which is a super easy website. So I will go to flaticon.com, search for trees again. You can just copy the image and paste it right into your slide. Flat Icon has tons and tons and tons of free images to check out. These are also some other resources you may want to check out. To download a slide, you will need to do this to upload into your Jamboard to become your new background. You will click on File, Download, into a PNG. So I'm going to go to File, Download, it's a PNG, the current slide, and it has automatically downloaded at the bottom. Now we're going to upload that PNG file into the Jamboard as the background. So I'm going to open a Jamboard, set the background. I'm going to choose an image. The image will be in my downloads because I just completed it. So download this top. And there is my Google slide as the Jamboard setting. Nothing is distorted. It is exactly the same as it was in Google Slides. Now we're going to check out how to use Canva. Once you've created a Canva education account, you can go into the search bar and type in um, Jamboard to find a variety of free pre-made templates. You can also edit and customize and create your own. You can play with the different tools within Canva to add in different elements like text, um, different fonts, styles, and images to create the Jamboard background you want. So the first thing you will do is go into Canva and you can type in search. You can search for Jamboard. These will automatically be the correct size. You can also start with a blank and that will already be sized correctly. These are lots of different free templates you can use and adjust and modify to fit what you need. Once you're in Canva and you have a blank background, you have lots of different options you can do. There will be places to start, or you can upload an image. Um, let's start with just a basic three column, and you can go in and adjust math. You can adjust all the words, you can adjust the colors. 
this will be a math view, let's just say. You can adjust the font size to fit what went well, what didn't well. So you can adjust any of these to how you wish. Um, if you want to start from scratch, you can type create under the create a design at the top. Um, you can search create a design background. This will look very similar to searching the other way, except it may give you more templates this going this route, but it is just another way to get to the same result. Everything is sized correctly if you search that way. Once you have that created, you will just download it, kind of similar to what Google Slides look like. So here I have the design. I can click download. I will keep it as PNG, which is suggested, and then download. Now it is at the top of my downloads, and I can add that to my Jamboard. And there it is. So it's really easy to use Google Slides or Canva to get your background started. There it is. We uploaded it the same way we uploaded from Google Slides using the set background. On behalf of Andrew, Christy, Allison, and myself, thank you for participating in our workshop and shared Jamboard Activator session. Please reach out to your local county contact if you have any questions or need any help with this. Thank you. Have a great day.